There's this movement in Israel. It's called Nashot HaKotel, Women of the Wall. And these are a group of women that go down to the Kotel and they bring a Torah and they wear a talit and they uh, put on tefillin. They walk down the Kotel and they really are a movement for the presence of religious pluralism in Israel. And it got me thinking about where in America do we have a place of this confluence of all faiths coming together, kind of sharing our ritual objects of in God we trust, and then I got it women of the Walmart. And so here we are today with the Torah, and we're bringing it to Walmart to kind of have this experience. The thesis question is basically, what would happen if a woman with a talit and with a Torah went into Walmart? So let's see what happens. Woman of the Walmart, let's give it a go. <laughs> I'm just wondering, do you know what this is? Uh, hey there. Do you know what this is? You don't know what it is? Hey guys, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Do you know what this is? Okay, <laughs> now, this is a Torah, and it's the oldest um, scribal form of the Old Testament, the first five books of it. What do you think I've it is? I've seen it before. Uh, You've seen it before? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you know what this is? I, I don't. came to Walmart really curious. Hi, do you know what this is? No. <laughs> do you know what this is? No. Do you know what a Torah is? It's uh, to make music. Maybe uh, I'll... No, no. This is um, the Bible. Yeah, it's like the first five books of the Old Testament in a scroll. The first five books? Of oh, the Old okay. Testament. Isn't that cool? That's what it's called, the Torah? Yeah, it's called the Torah. All right. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Do you go to church? I used to. You used to? Cool. Okay. So this is like the original text. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is cool. Yeah. How do you feel why about you that? Got being the, why you got it in the Walmart? Because <laughs> I was curious of what it would be like to bring a Torah to Walmart. That's, That's cool. cool. Yeah. It's um the Old Testament. But it's oh, in like scroll. A scroll? Yeah. It's, scroll. yeah, it's called the Torah. Right. Isn't that cool? That's you guys are beautiful. We have an uncle that has a Bible, really old. Uh huh. And it has that in the front. Oh, wow. Very cool. What's your denomination? I'm a Pentecostal. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. There's a lot of um, spirit there. The reason why I brought this here today is I think America is a really beautiful, beautiful nation yeah. where we have tremendous respect and love and curiosity about one another's faiths. Yeah. And in a time where there's just been so much hatred on the news, I really believe in the love and what a better place to find it than at Walmart. Because this is where we all find one another. That's it. Yeah, it's the local watering hole. It's the well, right? Yeah, Very that's cool. it. Do this act of holding a Torah and going into the area that's called the Kotel or the Wailing Wall as a female is considered an act of defiance and an act of desecration by some Jews. And a part of what I find really compelling is how in America we have the freedom to take a Torah pretty much anywhere and we can live alongside one another in peace and harmony. And that's what makes America so amazing to me. So I have to say, I totally identify as a woman of the Mall Mart. Like, completely. Hey there. <laughs> How are you? Do you know what this is?